Hello friends and welcome back to Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Edmund and in this video we will be unboxing personally my favourite pickup so far this year and in my opinion one of if not the most slept on sneaker so far in 2021. Summer video on the Nike and clothes in the black and white colorway, I mentioned that we would be expecting a high version of that colorway. A few months later, here we have the Nike Dunk High in the Panda colorway. I thought I messed with the low version of these, but when I found out that a high version was releasing, I knew which one out of the two I'd prefer. With it being a high version of the black and white colorway, you already know what to expect. White leather underlay covered with your clean black overlay leather. The other black elements of the shoe come from the laces included on the white tongue, which has this red Nike tab, which is a very small but nice touch of the sneaker. These sneakers also sit on a nice crispy white midsole finished off with your black outsole. Quality wise, the leather feels okay, it's, it's somewhat soft, it still has that plasticky feel and um, I will say the best shoes in terms of quality I've dealt with so far, I'll say two. First would be your collab Ambush Nike Dunk Highs which I did a video on, link in the description, as well as the College Navy Dunks which is more of your traditional general release colorway. The leather on that was actually very very good and I was very surprised, you can also find that video in the description. Compared to the Nike Dunk Ambush Highs, one may find this Panda Dunk High colorway to be slightly boring, but I think it's that simplicity element that you find on Dunks as well as Jordan ones, such as the Jordan 1 University Blue, which makes this particular look so popular. The look is not really doing too much, which makes this type of sneaker very easy to rock. But let me know which of the two looks do you prefer, Nike Dunks or Jordan ones? We'll now move on to the sizing, the resale that I ended up paying for this sneaker, as well as my overall thoughts on the Nike Dunk High Panda. When it comes to the comfort aspect of the shoe, they feel comfortable. They're quite a wide shoe, to say the least. They're comfortable, man. That's the most important thing when it comes to your sneaker. Of course, the, the sole, the midsole is quite low, so you do feel like you're very much on the ground, but that's something you need to get used to if you're not familiar with maybe Jordan 1's or Nike Dunks. So I picked this sneaker up from StockX, shout out to StockX, where I paid £145, 54 pence. Prices did drop since then, which is peak, and my size is now going for around £130. With other sizes, the resale price ranges from £115 to £140, depending on your size. But in terms of resale price range, it's not that crazy when you look at the resale prices of other sneakers, such as, as mentioned, the Nike Dunkai Ambush, which retailed for £159.95. But overall, I am very gassed to have this sneaker in my collection. But let me know your thoughts on the Nike Dunkai in the Panda colorway. Do you prefer these over the low version? Um, and out of Nike Dunks and Jordan Ones, which look do you prefer? Feel free to drop your thoughts and any questions in the comment section down below. To hear my thoughts on the low version of the sneaker, you may like this video or this video here where I speak on the Nike Ambush Dunk Highs. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for future videos like this. I always appreciate you guys for checking in and as always, stay blessed.